Here we're going to tie a little fly called the Dark Lord. First thing I went ahead and did was just added a bead to the front of the fly. Then I laid down a little bit of 010 or 015 lead wire. Then I'm going to take my thread all the way back here to the bend. I'm going to go just a little ways down the bend and I'm going to build up a little bit of a, uh, a ball of thread there. Then I'm going to take two dark colored goose biots. They can be brown, black, uh, any of the darker variations. And I'm going to even them up and I'm going to orient them so that they splay away from each other. And I want my tails to be about half of the length of the shank of the hook. I'm just going to lay them down, pinch them into place, do a loose wrap with my thread, and then tighten down. And I should get perfectly little uh, stonefly kind of style legs that, or wing, yeah, or tails there. I'm sorry. Then I'm going to take my thread forward till I get to, to the point where the uh, lead wire begins. Then I just trim out the excess biot. Now the next thing I'm going to do is just take a little bit of brassy wire. I'm going to use gold here. You can also use copper. Either one of those colors will work just fine. Now the next step is to dub the body. For this I'm going to use a synthetic blend dubbing. You can use a lot of different types of dubbing for this, uh, but the type of dubbing you want, or the color of dubbing you want to use is black. And I'm going to use some SLF uh, black stone for my dubbing here. But like I said, any dubbing will work. Peacock black and ice dub is a good color. Any of the Antron variations are also uh, good dubbings for this fly. I'm just going to start at the back, work my way forward, I'm going to take this dubbing almost all the way to the front of the fly. Gonna stop just short. Now the next thing we're gonna do is just counter wrap this wire through the body, spiraling it forward. Then I can capture that once I get uh, to the front. Now the next thing to do is to tie in the, the wings. For the wings we're also going to use some goose biot. And we are either going to use ginger or gold. Either one is just fine. And we want these wings to reach back and just barely overextend the tail. And I'm going to tie them in so they are oriented, kind of facing away from each other. Like a V just like so. Then I'm going to lay down a couple wraps. Trim out the excess. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the legs. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a uh, hen feather. I'm using just India hen and a natural and I'm going to just pull all the fibers down. That way I can line up the tips. And I'm just going to yank off a, a very generous clump. I'd say probably about uh, 20 or so of these little fibers. And you can even up the tips as much as you can. They don't have to necessarily be perfect on this fly. We're going to tie in some legs that uh, reach back and almost touch the the back end of the fly. Oop, I rotated it there too early. And we're going to tie these in 
on each side of the fly. I'll do two wraps, that way I can rotate it and show you. See how nice and long those legs are. And I'm going to do the same thing on the uh, other side here. If you tie them in too long, you can just take the butt ends and give them a little bit of a pull. Once you have the legs tied in, you can trim out the uh, butt ends. Then the last thing to do on this fly is we're going to just cover up our thread work and uh, lay down a little bit of a collar. And we're just going to use the uh, same black dubbing that we used for the body. Dub it very, very sparse, just enough to uh, coat the thread. All we're really trying to do is just cover up the work that we did right at the end and build up a little bit of a head. And once we've done that, we can whip finish. And we have a finished fly called the Dark Lord. Give you a top view here. You can see those legs, wide profile, very buggy fly. Think fish eat it for a small stone. Looks a lot like a Prince Nymph. Very good classic pattern. And you can find all the materials for the Dark Lord on our website, intheriffle.com. And if you're watching this via YouTube, there's a link below the video in the description that you can click and follow it to our website. And there you'll find all the recipe information as well as the materials for the fly. That is the Dark Lord.